Kawabonga dudes and dudettes, I am Sensei Mongery, and I'd like to welcome you back to more TMNT Legends in this episode, The Gauntlet. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, I'm super excited about this. Oh, so we get to see the cutscene every time. I think I'll commentate over it this time. So they are breaking into an arcade, but they are paying for the play, which is good. I wish we still had arcades. Arcades are awesome. Leo's like, whatever. I don't care about video games. And then these guys are all like, video games are awesome. And I love how they play as themselves. <laughs> Mikey's just loving it. <laughs> Raph's like, come on, man. I love their little icons on top, too. This is my favorite part when Mikey hits Raph. It's so good. And he's like, oh! And then he just gets zapped. Danny's all like, he's gonna explode. <laughs> and then they go in. I think it's even better the second time. So I'm gonna play a whole bunch of this, although I might break it up into a few different episodes because I know everyone likes watching the, like, versus the classic or the original Turtles or, like, the original Shredder. So when we get to those fights, I might just end the episode, do a separate fight, and then continue on after that. It's going to be kind of weird, but I'll put the videos up as quick as I can. Also, I'm not, like, super high level on my characters. I mean, we're pretty high. Level 66. Some of my characters got nerfs, and it looks like overall a lot of the characters got nerfs as far as abilities go and stuff like that. So I might end up going to the shop, not for this time in the gauntlet, but maybe tomorrow at the end of this gauntlet tonight, and I might just purchase a whole bunch of this mutagen. It's five bucks, so it's not too bad. So if you're looking to level up your characters right now, the mutagen, it's five bucks. Anyways, let's go into the gauntlet, and let's start out with Bebop and Rocksteady. And we are just going to use our best characters. Actually, let's level our characters up a little bit here. If we can. Mikey has a skill we can level up as well. How much is this skill? Oh, that's only a thousand. Let's go ahead and do that. That will help out with his crits. And let's level up. Let's level up Baxter Stockman. He's our best character, so let's just level him up. Alright. Let's go into the gauntlet. This is exciting. The gauntlet is exciting. Great. This place again. Okay, I read this last time, so I'm going to cruise through this. When we get to something new, I'll read it out loud. But this is already probably going to be a really long episode. I'll take off the times two. It automatically just puts you on the times two, because that's what I do for my other battles when I'm grinding. So it just automatically puts you there. Also, quick zoom in on the picture of April. Yeah. Love that yellow. Always ready for the rain, April. Always ready. <laughs> Alright, so let's take these guys out. I gotta be somewhat conservative on my abilities because they carry over, but I don't want to take a lot of damage either, so I'm gonna use them. Alright, so we're gonna finish these two guys off with normal attacks. I probably should have used my attack buff there because I don't think the attack buffs carry over. I feel like if you use something like that, that should carry over too, but I don't think it does. And now we got Bebop and Rocksteady. We're gonna burn Rocksteady. These guys do a lot of damage, so I want to kill these guys as quick as possible. And we'll flip kick. One, two, and three. I don't think that will be enough to kill him. So I'm gonna bring in... Ooh. That hurts a lot, actually. Hopefully we can take out Rocksteady before... Oh, wow! Okay, we gotta go for that blue Mauser. I did not realize he had a heal. We gotta eliminate him as quick as possible. Come on, give me an assist. Darn it. Alright, we're just gonna take him out. Not the best use of Baxter Stockman's ability there because he is super good. And we just kind of just wasted it on very little health guy. Very little health guy! The guy with, like, no health. In this case, it was a Mauser. Oh, he's preventing me from healing? Seriously? 
That Mauser's good too. He needs to die as well or get destroyed. Robots can't really die because you can just rebuild them and they'll work again. There goes Rocksteady. I love his death animation there. He's like, whoop, 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 whoop. And then the hat falls on him. Classic, you know? Just classic. All right, we should be good to go. I want to heal here, if possible. I would like to heal at the end. Here we go. Oh, no, I had the... Oh, huge mistake there. Oh, man. That stinks. That stinks. Three of my characters had the block healing on, so they did not get affected. All right, I'm going to... I did it again! No! I wanted to heal Stackman Mac! Wasn't paying attention. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll save our taunt so that I can taunt with Metalhead next time around. So that we can hopefully heal Baxter Stockman. And let's just use a normal attack. Mikey? Oh, we should be good here. Okay, perfect. So Bebop and Rocksteady, they went down to HE Double Hockey Sticks, I suppose. They were criminals after all. All right, we saw this last time. We're getting a lot of XP, which is nice. All right, let's go here. Should I just heal my characters? I have a lot of greenbacks. I wonder if I should go there. What's this one look like? Well... Let's go to this one first. I'm gonna heal Stockman Mech, and we're just gonna bring in Metalhead how he is. Let's do this! I'm gonna times two this. I gotta remember to take that off when we fight these special characters though. I like having this on because it just kind of moves the battles along quickly. Let's hit Staranko with the basketball. And let's give ourselves a buff. I don't want to take a lot of damage this fight. And this will hopefully help us kill them quicker. Oh yeah, Mausers. Gotta love those little guys. I love how they jump through the window there too. Let's bring in the eye bombs. Eye bombs, baby! Yeah! Flip kick on Bebop. Oh, Mikey. Just did not eliminate him. I'm gonna take him out. Let's take out this member of the foot here. He's not really a threat, but let's just take him out anyways. I don't know what he has for his actives. I'm gonna focus who's up first here. They're both gonna be up at about the same time, so I'm gonna get taunted either way. And we'll take out the creep first. And it's just us and the dog. The big bad dog. In this case, the dead dog. All right, so that was pretty good. Nice and easy. Turtle Squeezy. Alright, so let's go this way. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. Whoa! This is super cool. It's like being in the comic. <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but my first ever comic I owned was the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic. And I still have it, but it's like ripped in like all different places and beat up because I would just be rough with it when I was younger, you know? I didn't know that it would have any value. I didn't even think about that. I just like reading it and checking it out. And in all honesty, like the turtles were a lot different back then. At least I remember they were like violent and stuff and it was a lot more ruthless. Pretty much all the old cartoons and all the old car uh, comics were ruthless back then because you could kind of do whatever you wanted to. I mean, even if you look at like Looney Tunes and like Woody Woodpecker, they like bust out guns and they're like fighting with knives and stuff like that. It's just crazy. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I love that they did this with the game. <laughs> really? Nice. That is so cool. 
Very nicely done. Very nicely done. I'm gonna heal here. I don't think I needed to just yet, but I'm gonna play this super safe. Plus, the sooner I heal, the sooner I get it back. As far as next round goes. And can we just take him out with the assist? Yeah, we should be able to get him. Nice, okay. I like it when Baxter mech is also a higher level because then the, when Leo gets the assist, he pretty much always calls on the highest level. And if there's a whole bunch of like the same levels, it'll just call on like a random character or whoever has the most XP. And sometimes that's like Mikey and he's probably my least best for basic attacks. Although he's not bad because he can get health back and he's got a decent crit chance. This counterattack might hurt me here if I have to attack with Leo. Yeah, I'm just going to heal with Leo, I think, here. Cartoon Leo. Oh! Ignore that. The turtle phone is ringing. I'm going to take this real quick. I'm going to continue to play, but I'm going to take this. So, one second, guys. Alright guys, I'm back, and we won, which is super nice. That was a super cool map. Just super cool. Super fresh, super cool, super awesome. You can see it's like black and white out there. Alright, so... Let's go here. 64, 66, what's this? 65, 63, 64. Man, these fights are all tough. They're all really tough. I don't want to get KO'd before I fight these guys again. So, I'm going to fight... Oh, man. They're 66, 67, 67. Jeez. Maybe I should just fight the other guys first. Now, we're going to fight these guys because these guys are awesome. And we're going to do that next time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time when we take on the original Turtles with sound effects. Sorry about that last time, I didn't realize we were on times two. So I'll see you guys then.